Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered what it would be like to fly like a bird? Imagine soaring high above the trees, feeling the wind beneath your wings. Well, a long time ago, there were amazing creatures called pterodactyls that did just that. Pterodactyls were flying reptiles that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. They belonged to a group of animals called pterosaur, which means winged lizard. These creatures had long wings made of skin and muscle, stretched between their elongated fingers. Some pterodactyls had wingspans as wide as a small airplane. Can you imagine seeing one of those giant creatures flying overhead? So, why did pterodactyls fly? One big reason was to find food. Pterodactyls were opportunistic eaters, meaning they would eat whatever was available. Some pterodactyls loved to munch on fish, while others snacked on insects or even small dinosaurs. By flying high above the water or land, they could spot their next meal from a distance. It was like having a bird's eye view of the world. Flying also helped pterodactyls escape from danger. If a hungry dinosaur was lurking nearby, pterodactyls could take to the skies and get away quickly. Their ability to fly gave them a better chance of survival in a world filled with giant predators. Pterodactyls were also very social creatures. Many of them flew in groups, which made it easier to find food and stay safe from danger. Imagine a flock of pterodactyls soaring together in the sky, chatting and helping each other out. They would gather in their nests, which were usually located on cliffs or in trees, where they could rest and raise their babies. But flying wasn't just about finding food or escaping predators. Pterodactyls also used their wings to help them glide. Gliding is like flying without flapping your wings. They would launch themselves from high places, like rocky cliffs, and soar through the air, using the wind to carry them along. This skill made it easier for them to travel long distances without getting tired. Fun fact, did you know that some pterodactyls had colorful crests on their heads? These crests may have been used to attract mates or show off to other pterodactyls. Just like how some birds have bright feathers to impress their friends. Pterodactyls were not just amazing flyers, they were also important for their ecosystems. By eating fish and insects, they helped keep the balance of nature. If there were too many insects around, pterodactyls would help control their population by feasting on them. They played a vital role in the food chain. So, next time you look up at the sky, think about those incredible pterodactyls flying above you millions of years ago. They were masters of the air, using their wings to find food, escape danger, and socialize with their friends. Want to feel like a pterodactyl? Try this fun activity. Find a safe, open space outdoors. Run and spread your arms wide like wings. Then, jump and pretend you are soaring through the sky. See how far you can glide before you land. Remember to use your imagination, maybe you're searching for fish in a prehistoric sea or escaping from a hungry dinosaur. What do you think it would feel like to be a pterodactyl flying through the clouds?